Hey everybody, welcome back to Mike's Wooden Things and Stuff, and welcome to the Holiday Gift Guide Edition, or <laughs> something, I don't know. Uh, I was just thinking the other day, It's it just turned into December all of a sudden, and uh, it's time to start thinking about, if we haven't yet, stuff that we're getting for people for Christmas. And I know this probably isn't going to be, well, I was thinking that this wouldn't be much use for people to be like gifts for woodworkers or makers because the people watching this are those people. <laughs> but chances are good that if you're someone who makes things, you also know other people who make things and you might want to get them a gift. But what can we get for people that make things? It's kind of hard because people are really specific about their tools and they want to be picking their own very specific tools. Uh, people are very specific about some of the accessories that they use, like, you know, the ancillary things like uh, sandpaper and, and that type of stuff. They're, they can be very specific about that kind of stuff. So unless you know exactly what kind of things in those areas <laughs> that people use, that's hard to do. So I'm going to do cheap gifts for people who make things that all people who make things could find use for in their shop. Let's get into it. I've picked out some stuff. We'll have a look. I'll talk you through it and I'll explain why I think that these are good gifts. I'm keeping them all down cheap too. My, my limit was $30 when I was looking around the shop for stuff to tell you about. So under $30 gifts for makers. Let's get into it. Show you what I got here. All right, first thing on the list, Sharpies. Now this, that sounds ridiculous. Like I'm gonna get somebody a Sharpie for Christmas. You buy anybody who makes stuff a pack of various Sharpies, either various colors or various thicknesses of Sharpie, they are gonna love that because you always need Sharpies laying around in your shop. I don't care what kind of stuff you make, you need Sharpies. So you can find a 10 pack. I'll, I'll have links to all of this stuff on online someplace, probably Amazon links down in the description for what I think is a good uh, version of the thing that I'm making. I'll find a pack of Sharpies somewhere and I'll put it a link. But Sharpies, gift number one. Gift number two, torch. Also, seems like why, why do people need a torch? Torches are fantastic for lots of things in the shop. Uh, for popping bubbles in epoxy, for just heating things up real quick, like a uh, hot glue that is is being nasty to get off. You just hit it real quick with a blowtorch, peels right off. The torches come in handier than you think they do, and you can find a really good one. I'll leave a link to this one if I can find it again, but you can get a good, high-quality butane torch for 20, 25 bucks, and it'll be appreciated, and it'll get used, I promise. Lacquer. I don't care what kind of stuff you make, what kind of maker you are, you need cans of lacquer. Uh, just even if you're like a fine woodworker who only uses like buffed oil and wax finishes or something, you're, you're Mr. Fancy Pants maker, right? You need cans of lacquer laying around for just quick hits of stuff. Like, uh, I can't even think off the top of my head, but cans of lacquer, I, I prefer the gloss lacquer because you can always make it satin or matte by uh, scuffing it with various grits of sandpaper. So I always start with gloss and then I knock it back to the, the sheen that I want. Gloss lacquer. Everybody needs it. It'll be appreciated. It'll get used. Promise. Promise! Spray glue. It was not that long ago that I did not appreciate spray glue. Uh, but I've probably because I didn't have good spray glue. I bought cheap garbage spray glue 3m super 77 spray adhesive is Awesome awesome stuff and it comes in handier than you think more often than you would expect Super 77 
Now that we're on the topic of glues, Type Bond. Type Bond wood glue. They make a ton of different ones. They make Type Bond 1, 2, and 3. And then they make a quick and thick that's uh, tackier and thicker and faster drying. They make uh, a, a like walnut colored one that I really want to try. Um, I, I've never bought it, but I, I am going to get some and I think it'll be fantastic. So bottle of wood glue. You can never have too much glue laying around if you're a person who makes things. And maybe you'll get one that the person doesn't have a bottle of already. And maybe you'll get one that they haven't tried before and they end up really liking it. Tight bond glue. Perfect gift. Router bit. We use router bits longer than we should. And they get dull and we keep using them anyway because they're still cutting, but they're not cutting as well as they should. And we need new router bits. Anybody who makes stuff and has a router needs new router bits right now. I guarantee it. So a uh, quarter inch, this is a quarter inch upcut spiral bit. Everybody needs a new one of those right now. Uh, quarter inch, half inch roundovers. Everybody needs a new one of those right now because theirs is duller than it should be. Uh, pattern bits, anything that has a bearing on it and does pattern routing, everybody needs a new one of those right now. You get somebody a decent new router bit, don't buy the cheap garbage Chinese crap from Amazon bits that are eight bucks each or like a, a 40 pack for $20. Don't buy those, they're the Yoniko and stuff, don't buy those. I use Freud router bits because they're a relatively high quality router bit and they're easily accessible downtown at the tool store. But if you want to get fancy pants and buy somebody a router bit that they're really, really going to appreciate, you go to somebody like Whiteside. Uh, I don't know if that still is within the $30 range that I'm trying to go for or not, but new router bit is a fantastic gift. Router bit. One of these things. I don't know, even know what they're called. What are they called? Abrasive cleaner. <laughs> uh, for cleaning out your sandpaper so you don't have to replace your sanding belts or your sanding discs or even your random orbital sander pads like your grit uh, sandpaper. Because this, you just give it a hit, quick hit with this and it's it'll last way, way longer. You get one of these for... I don't even know, 15 bucks or something. I'm still on my first one ever. Uh, but you, they are, what do they call them? Stuff that gets used up. Uh, a consumable, that's what it's called. They are consumable. So even if somebody has one of these and you get them another one, they can just use this thing more often now because they got another one. So these things are super handy to have around and they make great gifts for people who make stuff. Five minute epoxy. Everybody who makes stuff needs to have five minute epoxy laying around and they already do, but it sucks to run out of it when you've only got a little bit left and you're trying to squeeze it out and you're trying to make it go as far as you can because you don't want to go to the store and get another one yet. I, I prefer the Gorilla brand five minute epoxy, but I don't think I've used a five minute epoxy that I was like, oh, this stuff's garbage. So, but, Tube of five minute epoxy, perfect gift for a maker, or or you can, you know what, you probably need a new one too, so go get one, put it in your stocking, get, give it to Santa to put in your stocking. Set of hex keys, these things, every tool that you own has some hex bolts on it, and you're looking around for your Allen key, and you don't have the right size one in the places that you normally leave them. You, they get lost, they get thrown out, they get swept up. These things are great. They all come in one set. This one is uh, SAE and Imperial. Wait, Imperial is SAE. Uh, metric, that's the word I'm looking for. So we got Metric and Imperial on this guy. And uh, it's fantastic to have around. They don't go missing because they're all attached to the thing. You leave it someplace, you know where they are. Uh, Fantastic set of Allen keys in one little thing. Every maker guy or gal 
needs one of these things because their Allen keys go missing. I'm a little conflicted about this choice because, well, paraffin wax is fantastic to have around. And everybody who makes stuff needs to have paraffin wax around for the bed of the sole of a plane, for tool surfaces, uh, for all kinds of different reasons, you need paraffin wax. But a box of paraffin wax that comes with eight bricks of paraffin wax will last a maker the rest of their lives, probably. So I, that's why I'm a little conflicted, because if, if the person you're buying the gift for already has a box of paraffin wax, they do not need another one. But if you know that they don't, if you somehow know that they don't have paraffin wax in their shop, yeah, absolutely. Let's put this one at the bottom of the list, shall we? Because this is a hard one. Because if you get somebody a box of paraffin wax and they already have a box of paraffin wax, they have two lifetimes worth of paraffin wax now. <laughs> Let's move on. Edge roundover plane. Uh, I may have broken my rule about thirty dollars. I don't remember exactly how much this guy costs. It's a it's a Lee Valley edge treatment uh, roundover bit. See, so you got a forty five degree daily cut in there, and then you've got a blade popping out that has a little quarter inch roundover. I believe they make them in different size radiuses, um, but these things are super handy to have around. Not too many people have them, so you're probably, if you get somebody one of these for Christmas, they probably don't have one, and they are not going to know how often this is going to come in handy for them. Uh, instead of busting a router out with a, a router bit, a, like a roundover router bit, and <laughs> down the side of your thing you just shik, shik, shik. it it's it's more pleasurable to do a round over with this than it is with a router bit and uh and it looks awesome on the wall <laughs> I, i'm not sure though i think this might be 35 or 40 dollars it's close i'm gonna call it i'm a I'm going to say it fits into the theme. Cheap, awesome gift for a maker person. And last but not least, Gluebot. Should have probably done this back in the glue section. But Gluebots are cheap and handy. You can actually, you, you can use it up upwards. So if you're underneath something, trying to get glue up into something, these things are fantastic. They're cheap, they're refillable, they're cleanable. Uh, they get a little bit gunked up if you leave the glue in there too long. Um, but every maker needs one or more of these. I think they come in three sizes. So Gluebot is the last thing on the list of inexpensive gifts for makers that everybody needs. So that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. If you have gift ideas, how about you leave them down in the comments for people to scroll through. If you've got more stuff that fits into this sort of under $30 wonderful gift for all makers need this thing, leave it down in the comments. All right. Stay happy. Stay healthy. Stay safe. Happy holidays. Almost. We'll see you next time. Bye for now. <laughs>